Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Bala Venkatesh. This presentation is about Transactive Electric Distribution System. Please allow me to introduce the Center for Urban Energy at Ryerson University. It was founded in the year 2010. The founding sponsors include Hydro One, the IESO, Independent Electricity System Operator for Ontario, and Toronto Hydro. Since 2010, we have worked with many sponsors and collaborators from within Canada and abroad. An example of a utility from outside of Canada is Tata Power Daily Distribution Limited. Since 2010, we have undertaken projects worth over $30 million. Most of the funding has come from industry projects. We have also received funds from government primarily for matching grants. We have received 14% of our funding from the university sector. At the Center for Urban Energy, we undertake research in several areas, including renewable energy, conservation, demand management, energy policy, energy storage, smart grids, microgrids, transmission sector, and the distribution sector. Our activities include research, testing, and education. We also operate the Clean Energy Zone, which is an incubator that hosts early stage startups. In this slide, we are showing one of the projects executed here at the Center for Urban Energy. This is the world's first pole top energy storage unit. It was installed in the year 2016 on Toronto Hydro Network. This unit is a 15 kilowatt unit which lasts for about one hour. The purpose of the unit is to reduce stress and strain on the utility system by reducing overloads during peak hours. It also helps to alleviate overload due to electric vehicles. This project was funded by Ontario Ministry of Energy via Smart Grid funds. This slide shows a marquee project undertaken by the Center for Urban Energy. The slide shows a 40-foot container housing a 1.2 megawatt hour storage unit at 370 kilowatt power capacity. The unit is connected to Toronto Hydro's 13.8 kV network. It is also connected to our laboratory via a surveillance scanner. The unit is installed on Ryerson campus in downtown Toronto. Our role in this project is to develop test protocols that will explore functionalities of this particular storage unit. The project was funded by NRCAN and various other utilities. Now, uh, let's move to the topic of this presentation, which is Transactive Electric Distribution System, Concept and Demonstration. We are grateful to the IESO, which funded this fellowship at Ryerson University, uh, which led to development of several key technologies and its implementation in a laboratory setting. Well, what is the challenge at hand? Now, let us first examine distribution systems as they operate today. In this, I should tell you that the acronym LDC is Local Distribution Company, which is also a network operator. Let me take you through a tour of all these numbers. Number one is the bulk electricity system. Number two is a transformer station in a distribution network. Number three is a storage unit. Number four is rooftop solar. And number five is a large condo, which is a large load. Um, looks like one megawatt or two megawatts. Number six is the feeder that connects all of these elements together. Number seven is a solar farm. Number eight is a storage unit. And number nine is a small housing community. So all of these elements come together in a distribution network. Now today, this is how it works. The ISO, which is the independent system operator, contracts all the DERs, distributed energy resources, such as solar farms and so on, even though they are located within a distribution jurisdiction. The local distribution company is responsible for connecting these DERs, and it conducts what we call commonly here in Ontario, 
as connection impact assessment. And then the distribution company optimizes assets so that uh, everything is at the least cost as far as the distribution company is concerned. All right, what remains unexplored is the most important question. Now this system as we see has existed for about 100 years except that there were no storage and solar installations 100 years ago which have come and become very prominent today. But what is unexplored? How shall we address that question? And that's where transactive energy systems comes in very handy. Let us look at this slide and consider what transactive energy provides us. But before we begin, let us recognize that this green platform that is shown on the slide would be a platform that will be operated by DSO, which is Distribution System Operator. The distribution system operator can optimize the whole distribution network by considering energy procurement, not only from the transmission system, but from all the DERs, distributed energy resources. What can it achieve? It can achieve lower energy costs. It can also achieve lower asset costs. And this is the promise that transactive energy system provides through the creation of a DSO, a distribution system operator. In the following slides, we will see cases of what transactions we can have that will allow lowering of cost and better utilization of DERs within a distribution system, which is the promise of transactive energy systems. All right, this is the first example of a transactive energy system. In here, who are the players? Player number one is a solar farm. Player number two is an energy storage unit. And what's written as number three is a transaction between the two. Let us contemplate what this transaction could be. This transaction could be that the storage unit would consume excess power when it comes from the solar energy and is not required by the distribution system. At the same time, the energy storage unit can provide energy to the distribution system when the solar unit is not available. In short, the storage unit provides a backup for the solar such that the combination can provide firm capacity to the distribution system. So the important concept that arises here is that transaction between solar and storage units can create firm capacity for the distribution system. Now, what is the implication of this provision of firm capacity? The solar unit, which typically receives only energy payments, can now receive firm capacity payments in addition to energy payments. What does it do? It allows the solar unit to have a improved economic case. It also allows the solar unit to provide firm capacity like a regular generator. And so this allows for a green economy and a green energy system to thrive and supply our society. All right, now let us consider this example of transactive energy system. In this, let us focus on item number one, which is a new solar installation, and item number two, which is an existing condominium tower, which is a large load on the distribution network. What is labeled as three is a transaction, which will become obvious very soon. Now, if this solar installation were to go forward, then the distribution system requires that the distribution transformer has to be upgraded to accommodate this new solar installation, which is an increased asset cost. As labeled on this slide, item number four, uh, a transformer upgrade. Now, how can we defer or avoid this transformer upgrade? One particular possibility is a transaction between the solar unit, the new solar unit, and the existing load, which is labeled as number two. What could this, this transaction look like? This transaction could be that when excess solar energy is provided that overloads the transformer, the demand in item number two can go up in such a way that the transformer does not get loaded or overloaded. And so this transaction is called demand response or DR for short. 
and in this case it is consumption of the excess electricity and so in this case it is called the positive demand response and this could avert the uh, upgrade of this transformer and therefore save money for the entire distribution network and this is an amazing example of a transaction between two uh, participants in a distribution system where the net result of the transaction is reduction in asset upgrade or avoidance of asset upgrade and this is a benefit of transactive energy system all right in summary what is possible so what we propose in here is the creation of a distribution system operator this distribution system operator would work in conjunction with LDC which manages the network LDC being local distribution company what would be the benefits of creation of the DSO which embodies transactive energy systems the first benefit would be reduction in energy cost and how would this come about this would come about by harvesting electricity from local distributed energy resources in addition to procurement of energy from the transmission system further as shown in examples before we can also reduce asset cost by using transactive energy concepts via a distribution system operator further the DSO concept allows for higher reliability and higher resilience how that's because electricity is procured from local resources which can be more available and provide a higher degree of reliability finally one of the other big benefits of transactive energy systems is participation of private sector and investment of private capital in procurement and installation of distributed energy resources within a distribution territory so these are the several benefits that a transactive energy system brings about by creation of a DSO. The DSO will enable peer-to-peer -peer transactions and peer-to-distribution system operator transactions as have been shown in several slides before. Now that we understand the opportunities provided by transactive energy systems, let us review this slide in front of us. This slide depicts the current status of our electricity system. The ISOs schedule all the generators in a power system and are responsible for ensuring the transmission of that electricity from generating stations to distribution systems over a transmission system. Once the electricity reaches the distribution system, it is a responsibility of the distribution company to oversee distribution of the electricity to its customers. To ensure network management, the distribution company uses SCADA systems, OMS, which is outage management systems, and in certain instances, it might use ADMS, Advanced Distribution Management System. In addition, uh, the distribution company would use billing systems, engineering solutions to build new assets such as lines and substations, system studies to understand system expansion requirements, and in total, LDC or local distribution company is responsible for all these aspects and attributes. Now that we understand where distribution companies stand in the current model, we propose to create the DSO model and create a laboratory implementation here at Ryerson Center for Urban Energy. So the modules that we have created to enable this demonstration are shown in red color. In red color, we see that there is a DSO or distribution system operator model. This comprises of three distinct blocks. The first one is the DER plus load forecasting model, which lies in the center. This module is able to show what would be the future load over the next day and what would be the outcomes and outputs of different DERs or distributed energy resources. These are then taken up into the energy market module, which schedules all the DERs over the next following day, such that the energy costs are the least the DERs get paid the highest value possible and the loads pay the least value possible. The last module which you can see is optimal planning 
and this optimal planning module allows the DSOs to plan for distribution assets while considering energy from local DERs such that the total asset costs is the, are the least. In addition to the DSO model existing, uh, transactive energy systems would have few other elements that go into it. One of those is the DERMS platform which will forecast DERs as they will function for the following day. In addition to DERMS platform, there requires a connector that will connect the DERMS platform to the DSO platform. So those are few things that other vendors are developing at this time. Thank you for listening to my presentation. We invite you to visit the Ryerson Center for Urban Energy. We'll be happy to show you the Transactive Electric Distribution System Laboratory. We look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye-bye.